It's hard to overestimate the importance of Miller House and Garden to the IMA. I think time travel is one of the great things that an art museum offers visitors. The capacity to stand in a place and go back in time. And this is a house that allows you to go back to a period in the mid-1950s when I was born. It's at the summit of the experience of modernism. It's that wonderful ability of three great designers to work together almost at the peak of their careers. So you have Saarinen building his most important domestic commission. You have Gerard doing probably his most beautiful interiors. And then certainly Kylie's gardens have been regarded as one of the masterpieces of 20th century landscape architecture. And to have those three people at that one moment in time working with an extraordinary client like Mr. and Mrs. Miller is, you know, the, the rarest of rare things that happens. It's monumental from a landscape architecture point of view, but the other neat thing is that it's very personal for the Millers. They loved it. And for them, it wasn't just building a museum piece, it was a, it's where they lived and it was their home. And I like the fact that they required that Dan Kiley, a master landscape architect, incorporate that need into the landscape. I think Saarinen is probably one of the most intriguing architects of the 20th century. He was one of the few American architects who was equally gifted as an architect and designer. Saarinen was really rethinking architecture and was trying to take it in a new direction. It was the Dream Commission. You know, he had this extraordinary client, and he had virtually an unlimited budget. Miller was someone who wanted to be a great architectural patron, and Saarinen was, you know, a really rising star at that moment in American architecture. So it was sort of a wonderful collaboration of two great minds. I think as a museum person, I'm used to trapping something and putting it in a cage and bringing it over and then displaying it like a trophy. And here, there's no way to do that. And instead of our profiling a house by moving it here, we made the commitment to keep it in its remarkable context in Columbus, which is such an epicenter for brilliant innovation in architecture. The IMA is busy working on a research plan to see what we need to do for the house. We're trying to assess the property and the material that's still in the house to see how the property changed over time and get a sense of, of what it looked like, say, in the 1960s versus the 1970s. You know, it was the idea of this total work of art, you know, of doing the gardens, doing the building itself, the house, and the interiors. The Miller family has been so generous in taking what had been their home and, in effect, handing it over to an institution. So we're excited to help validate that great accomplishment of the Miller family for the past half century and look towards this as an example for other families for years to come. Thank you.